Hey guys, welcome back. Doing a big one. Well, a bigger one. <laughs> Been doing some little 12 by 16s recently, 30 by 40 centimeters. So this is a bigger one. This is 30 centimeters by 60 centimeters, which is 12 by 24 inch. And if you saw the previous video to this one, uh, you'll see that I am going to do flip and drags. Haven't done them for a while. I love flip and drags, and but recently, I don't know why, I've just been doing the one big flip cups, which I do enjoy. I like the, the nice sort of blurred integrated background, but when I did my previous pour, I lost all my white. Even though I had two cups of white, you pretty much couldn't see the white at all. So I'm going to see if I can do my stripies and hopefully get some white. So same colours as last time. The only thing I changed was the turquoise. I went from a dark turquoise to my lighter turquoise. Everything else is the same. And obviously I've got more paint because I've got a bigger canvas. So let's get to it. Now this pouring medium has got glue, flow troll and water. Only because I made up a big bottle and... I've got some left so this is the end of it and I'll see how I feel about it but I think I'll probably just go back to my glue and water I don't see any benefit for the flow troll and except it had those little dotty bits in the background which I don't like I've locked a dog out hang on let me let her in who's crying at the door oh easy did I lock you out baby I'm sorry went to wash my hands and she followed me she's so quick right a treadmill silicone Let's do three drops in each. Actually, let's do four because they're big cups. I just won't do the white. Because so I've got seven, have I got seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cups. Each cup has got 60 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint. That's two ounces of pouring medium and two ounces of paint. In saying that, the whites, um, it was the white stick, so it's got 60 grams of pouring medium, only 50 grams of paint. This red oxide is really thin, so it's got 60 grams of pouring medium and an extra 10 grams of paint just to thicken it up. The others are all equal amounts. And you may notice that when you're tipping your paints out that one feels a bit thick or one feels a bit thin. So just adjust accordingly, you know, add more paint if it's thin or add more uh, pouring medium or less paint if your your paint's really thick so don't just go one to one you have to have a little bit of a think about it and work out what's going to make them all the same consistency I'd just like to clean the sticks off as well just in case I've got oil on my sticks now the other thing I wanted to show you uh, with your consistency the three second rule so drizzle your paint around like that and it should sit on the surface for three seconds one two three see now it's gone one two three one two three so if your paint's disappearing in a second one two three so if it's a at least three. Don't go any less than three. Three is good. Um, if your paint's disappearing in, you know, one to two seconds, then it's probably a little bit on the thin side. How did I get paint on my clean gloves from that cup? Let me wipe that off. Okay, let's get to layering, and I'll tell you about the colours in a minute. Feels like forever since I've done one of these. So each cup... So I've used half of that. So each cup's going to do one layer. So I'll get two layers of everything in. So feel free to fast forward because this is going to take a few minutes. But if you've got nothing better to do, then stick around. <laughs> Watch me layer paint. And I feel a bit cheeky saying this, but if my videos have helped you in any way, Saved you some money. Feel free to send me donations. It doesn't have to be a lot. Every little bit helps. Just allows me to go out and buy more paint, more medium, more canvases. The glue all, I can't get free postage anymore. It's costing me double what it used to cost me. So, yeah. 
feel free to send me a little donation every now and then help me out if I've you know helped you if I've maybe saved you some experiments so there you go you know I love you all don't you <laughs> I do it's such, such a lovely community of painters this has opened up so many you know doors and avenues and new friends it's really lovely having people with the same hobby as as myself because my my personal friends they don't they don't paint my family they don't paint I've got no one to paint with so it's really lovely having all of you guys to paint with and to talk to about paint yeah it's been a really enjoyable 12 months that i've been doing this so thank you Sounds like I'm going somewhere, doesn't it? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, just feeling a little bit melodramatic, I guess. No, it has been good. I've really enjoyed the whole spirit of painting and the community of it. Everyone's a lovely bunch of people. Okay, so that's the first layer. The white is finished. I tend to get more paint in my first cup, so I have to be really careful, ration it, because with a cool little cup down the end here, I hardly gets anything. I might have to start at this end and do my, fill my cups from my right to left for the remaining so that they're all equal. Once I flip these over while I'm waiting for my paint to run down the cup, I'll tell you what the colours are. Just got enough, probably put too much in the first layer. And this one needs a little bit more. So I have a few days off work this week. I'm only working two days this week because we've got school holidays at the moment. And when I, where I work in the hospital, it's always a little bit quiet during the school holidays. It's a it's the private sector, so a lot of the surgeons go away for the school holidays with their families and kids, take some time off. So there's, you know, not as many theatre cases, so not as much work around. So it's, it's kind of nice. It's nice in the way that I get to stay home and paint, but not nice in the way that, <laughs> you know, be short of the mortgage this month. What can you do? Take work where you can get it, hey? It'll pick up again when school goes back. Okay, here goes the yellow. And I've separated my colours with a bit of white. Just so that I try not to get mud and I do really want more white I just didn't get it in the last pour but as I said I'm hoping that the flip and drag method will give me a little bit more white because I get the stripes when I do the flip and drag so when you're dragging your paint down it kind of opens up more color I think let's get those pretty stripes I'm hoping that I'll get more white Nearly there, guys. Thanks for being patient. As I say to my patients, thanks for being a patient patient. <laughs> when they're waiting to be discharged. Okay, that's the white done and red oxide. Wish I had a little bit more white just to pop on top, actually, but I don't. I wonder if I can grab some more. No, I don't. I don't want to. You end up with too much paint. You don't want too much paint. I've got about uh, probably 800 grams, roughly about 800 grams of mixed paint for this canvas. 
16, no, what is it? 12 by 24 inch. Yeah. So about 800. Mm. Let's see what white I've got over here. That's a bit thin. No, I think it's all... I think it's all swipe paint that I've got left over from my classes. It's all swiping paint. All right, let me move these over to the side so I can flip. I haven't done this for so long, my goodness. Almost forgotten how to do it, hey? <laughs> okay, take that right up to the top. Nice and close to the sides there. Might as well use this just to pop over my corners. Just helps the paint flow over that last little edge there. I'm not going to keep that colour and it just makes it easy for the paint to flow over. If it's struggling just to get to that last little corner there. Okay, wipe my hands again. So, colours, red oxide, Naples yellow, well my version of Naples yellow, I made this myself, because we can't buy Naples yellow here, so that's, I've made it, I've never actually seen Naples yellow, I've only seen it on, on TV with other people using it, so hopefully it's the same, Peacock, that's a pale turquoise, uh, Deep Space, that's my lovely navy, and lots of white, three cups of white. Hopefully, um, we'll see lots of white in this pour, hey? That'll be nice. With any luck. Okay, let's get to dragging. Feels like forever since I've done this. Right, let's go. Oh my, look at the red oxide taking over. This one's going to do the same. Might flip those the other way. And I don't know why it makes a difference, but it seems to make a difference. Let's put those cups out of the way. It's a lot of red oxide. Have red oxide in the top of my cup. I had white in the top of my cup. Let's see if this flips any differently. Yes. Now, why does it do that? You tell me why. Mm. Same colours, same order, but you flip it the other way. Go figure. I can't work it out. It's just, it's one of the mysteries of life to me, <laughs> how it does that. Like, it's the same layers. Um, all right, so feudal cells popped up straight away. Uh, that's the flow troll in there for you. Now I'm just going to move this just so that everything kisses up and joins up a little bit before I start torching. Okay, that should be enough. Love my stripies. <laughs> Actually, it's nice having the different ones because if I'd had all the red oxide on top, I would have been unhappy. And if I had all the blue on top, I would have been unhappy. So it's really pretty doing it that way, isn't it? I'm happy with that. I just don't understand why it works. I just don't get it. Maybe I'm just not smart enough. <laughs> I don't know. It's got me baffled. Let's torch. I'll shut up. Now, as you know, torch from up high, go slow, go around a few times, don't go too close, you'll get caterpillars. Long cells all joined up together if you get too close and too much heat. Oh, see there, caterpillars telling you not to. 
I do tend to get more of them though with the Floetrol. When I'm using just my glue and water mix, I hardly get caterpillars at all. Um, but as I said, this has got the bit of Floetrol in it. Floetrol glue water. So a little bit different to what I usually use and it shows in the torching. I'm kind of wishing that I hadn't used that formula now because these are such beautiful colours. A lot of white just there. My cells are having trouble coming through that white. I may have to torch afterwards. Okay, let's leave it at that. Beautiful colours. Reminds me of the Caribbean pool that I did. Hey, Caribbean sunset. It's looking like this again. Okay, let's get to tilting. And because it's a long canvas, I like to walk it up and down to get these triangles covered. Up and down, up and down. Use the weight of the paint moving across to push it all over to where you want it to go. I don't want it to go over the long edge just yet. So, because I haven't covered the sides yet. So, just helping it along. Okay, that corner's done. That corner's kind of done. Cells are small. Oh, look at the colours, but. Mm. I'll get rid of that blob now. Mm, a little bit of it. I'll get rid of a little bit of it. I might be able to move it later. This is that once you've done, you've taken all your weight of the paint down here, and then you're going to take it all the way back again. It's really hard to come back this way. So you kind of need to do everything that you want to do down here now. Now I'm going to try and stretch these cells out a little bit. So as I walk my paint down, and down, looks like my mix is a little on the thick side today with this pour. If your mix is a little bit thick, it sells don't really get that really pretty ring. They don't grow as much. They don't get the really pretty rings. Because I've got stripies, now I'm going to try and straighten everything up. All right, let me look at it. All right, White. You've done it again, haven't you? Where are you? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty. I think my, my mix was just a bit on the thick side. Let's see if I can open some of this up a bit. And bring it all back again, straighten up my lines. I think for me, if I'm going to do stripes, I want straight stripes or as straight as possible. Some of the areas I'm not able to open up, like this blue one, it looks quite narrow. I just can't open it up any further than that. disappointed actually I would have liked bigger cells but my mix is just a little on the thick side and it's probably because I've changed my pouring medium made it a little bit thicker still pretty hey Caribbean sunset what do you think look at those layers looks like a sunset doesn't it With the beach got the two 
redder sections there, the bluer sections there, and then it's more of a milky section in the middle. I think I'll just try and torch a little bit and see what happens. We'll get some smaller cells coming up for a bit of contrast, maybe. There's a lot of white in the middle there. Nothing much happening in the middle, so let's see if we can get a few little cells popping up. Why not? That'll make the smaller cells look bigger if I get smaller ones in next to them. Not a lot happening, yeah, as I said, it mixes a bit on the thin, uh, thick side, which is a shame. Now I feel like doing it again, but with my other mix, my, oops, too close to my glue and water mix. Okay. Now, because I've got more little cells popping up, I want to be able to stretch them out a touch. Just move them a little bit. Just to open those new little cells up a little bit that I've got. Yeah, way too thick this mix. Actually, this red blends in a little, bends there a little. I might have that one bending in a little bit too. All right, how's that? I'll leave it there. What do you think? Happy with that? It's very pretty. Look, don't get me wrong, it's very pretty. I just would have liked, I guess, bigger cells. It just means I've got to do it again. Let's fix up the sides here. Quarters. Definitely want to do this again, these colours, but with my other mix. I've missed that corner totally. Mm, need some reddish colours for that corner. So when your mix is a little bit thicker, uh, the cells, I guess they're not quite as bright. They tend to be a little bit more on the hazy side. And because the mix is thicker, they just don't stretch as well. I think that's what it is. Um, they just don't stretch as well as they could. I'm going to put some of the red oxide there on that corner instead I think there and that matches a bit better it'll drip off okay well I've got my stripies didn't really get my white that's okay there's white in there I mean you can see it's very hazy though, it's blended, the white's blended, so I haven't got like stark white. Um, but yeah, that's okay. Definitely gonna do it again with a slightly thinner mix with my other recipe, other res pouring medium recipe. Um, yeah, I'll get better cells. This area here, just not as good as and those, see what that was the white that was really thick. So those cells have, can't really come up properly and make beautiful rings. So it's just not as good as um, it, they could be. Right, let me take you down. Oh, it looks pretty from up here. <laughs> I do like those stripy colors. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's lovely and bright. And there are some gorgeous cells. There's the Red Sea, <laughs> there's the sunset over the ocean. We've got some of the pale aqua there, we've got the navy running through it, and a bit of the yellow. And it's nice that it's not a bright yellow, it's more of a mustardy colour. Is that what Naples yellow is, more of a mustard? And then we've got the beach there, more of the sunset happening, more of the blue. And then back up into that darker reddish sunset 
But look at those cells. Aren't they amazing? Rings around them. Let me turn this light off. Oh, much better. I keep forgetting to do that before I show you guys. Much better. That's the true colour of it. I keep forgetting to turn the light off when I, before I show you. How gorgeous is that? Really happy with this one. I think I'd hang it with this on the bottom, with that dark blue on the bottom. And then the lighter blue at the top. What do you think? I think so. Mm, look at that. Very pretty. I'm happy with this one. Do you guys like it? Have a go with these colours. They were minimal colours. You know, we had the red oxide, we had the yellow, the navy and the turquoise. So only four colours. And then white. Lots of white. My white was a little bit thick. Should have added another splash of water to it. So there you go. Happy with that. So what do you think of the difference of um, stripies versus flip cups? So those are the exact same colours as this one oops, is just sitting there drying. Exact same colours, uh, but that was just a big flip cup. So it's just sitting under there drying. That's where I put my paintings to dry. Yeah. Um, so very, very different outcome from a flip cup to a flip and drag. Okay. All right. I'll leave it there. Hope you've enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I'll be back. I'll be doing these colours again with my regular pouring medium. I just, yeah, I don't see the benefit in this adding the flow troll. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye for now.